Hello, my name is Tom Harris with the International Climate Science Coalition. For the last, oh, two and a bit years, I've been lecturing in this theatre to a total of about 1,500 students about climate realism. The name of the course is Climate Change, an Earth Sciences Perspective. And Earth scientists, especially geologists, have not been included in much of the climate debate in society to date. Well, I help rectify that problem to a limited extent by teaching the students in this class. We typically have about 460 uh, in a session. About 100 will show up for any particular lecture, and the rest watch on cable TV or they watch on the web. Now, what I found is that most students came into this course thinking that the science was settled, okay? It was just a matter of predicting the future and developing plans to actually stop catastrophic climate change. By the end of the course, they saw that things are a lot more complicated than, in fact, that idea that they've been taught before actually indicates. There were two things that I did differently in this course. One is I completely forgot political correctness, okay? The bottom line is while I'm not attacking individuals or people, we had no qualms about criticizing what the conservatives were saying or the liberals based on real science, okay? And in some cases based on economics and policy as well. We were taking a totally non-partisan approach and that's of course exactly what we do in the International Climate Science Coalition. We're trying to expand the tent of people who are not afraid to take a climate realist perspective, looking at what climate actually does and what it's done through the history of the Earth. In other words, we're te treating our audiences and our classes like adults, okay? We're not trying to pretend that we know the future of all these things. We're trying to look at what science really says. And what science says is highly uncertain. It appears that humans have very little influence on overall global climate. But the bottom line is, we really don't know the future of climate. The forecasts are just way too immature. The science is too immature. We simply don't know. And that, to me, is fine. I've had people ask me, teachers from the United States, for example, after reading your website and listening to your lectures, I don't know what to tell my students. I don't know who's right. And of course, the answer is pretty simple. Well, then tell them you don't know who's right. Because, in fact, most scientists don't know who's right. Many of the scientists that I work with, for example, if you corner them privately and you say, OK, what's it going to be like in 10 years? They say, ask me in 10 years. They don't know, okay? There's so many variables impacting climate that in fact we may never be able to forecast climate. But what we can do is we can help people adapt to what climate change actually happens. So an important part of this course was looking at the impact of, on humans of natural climate variability. And the impact, of course, has been enormous. There's no question about that. And so those are the kinds of things that we should focus on, learning what climate really has done in the past and working to help people adapt to climate change as it comes about. So from that point of view, we're not left or right, okay? We're taking a realist point of view. And I find that in general, the students were very receptive to that. By the end of the course, many of them perhaps felt they knew less about climate than they actually thought they knew at the beginning. But of course, that's how science works. And you remember Isaac Newton said, I don't know how I appear to the world, but to myself, I just seem to be a small boy walking down the seashore, picking up the occasional beautiful pebble or stone, while the whole ocean of truth lays undiscovered before me. I mean, that is what real science is about. And that's what I talk about to students, both in this class and also when I go to high schools and colleges, universities, that sort of thing. I think it's very important for young people to be humble in the face of nature, in the face of science that is really just starting to mature. Thanks for your time.